Denver's first sober bar is going into hibernation while they look for a new location. Awake opened in May of last year and has become a popular option for people who want a bar atmosphere without the alcohol. Olivia Young is live outside of the bar in Denver's Jefferson Park neighborhood. And Olivia, the owner tells you this closure is just temporary. That's right, Kelly. Awake builds themselves as one of the only sober bars in the country. And it's an idea that's made the bar so popular, they've outgrown this location. Tomorrow, these doors will open to customers for the last time before they close on Monday to find a new home. Making sober cool. Making wellness cool. It's a groundbreaking step in normalizing sober nightlife. We have seen people standing at the bar uh, looking at it with tears in their eyes uh, because they didn't imagine that a place like this was possible. Awake is Denver's first alcohol-free bar. We opened the bar in May of 2021 and we had a line going out of the, the door and incredible community response. A coffee house by day, the bar offers non-alcoholic beer, wine and cocktails at night. It's no secret the issue of addiction and mental health and having a place like this that's alcohol free where people can go and socialize I think it's crucial. But starting Monday, Awake will take a nap, closing temporarily to find a larger space with more parking and room for live music. We'd like to be in a place where we have a little more freedom, it's a little more accessible, maybe it's a little more central in town. Wynn also wants to bring in operating partners and investors to one day spread the brand nationally. But in the meantime, the closure is a blow to Denver's social community. Just a very sad moment for me and uh, the other folks that I in my recovery circle. Saying goodbye for now to a much needed safe space. I don't think this is the end of a wake. I think they will come back bigger and better. You still have one more day to check out Awake before the bar goes to sleep. As for when they will reopen, the owner says they're aiming for dry January of 2023. In Denver, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First. Olivia, and let's go ahead and take a moment. Welcome to the team. You are our newest reporter who's going to be joining us on weekends. And this is sort of a homecoming for you, Olivia, as you're from Colorado. It is, Kelly. I am. I grew up in Castle Rock and graduated from Douglas County High School. Then I went to California for school, and the last two years I've been reporting in Eugene, Oregon. But thank you for the welcome. I am so excited to be back covering my home state. And we're happy to have you. Thanks, Olivia.